from Up on Poppy Hill is probably the most okay Ghibli film there is. It's not bad, far from it, is Ghibli, but it isn't as exciting or revolutionary as other Ghibli works out there. The film was directed by Goro Miyazaki, Hayao Miyazaki's son, and he's a very good storyteller and has his own style in directing, but yeah, the comparisons are gonna be very prevalent, namely with how Goro takes in the era's styles rather than do his own thing, like his father, as I'll explain soon. The story follows Umi, a young girl who raises the naval flags at her seaside home for the maritime men, namely her father. She meets a boy, Shun, at her school, and the two begin a genuine friendship while they try to save an old hangout spot in their school from being torn down with the help of their classmates. However, there's more to Umi and Shun's relationship than what there seems, as it's revealed that their degrees in separation is closer than they think. How will this affect Umi and her daily routine of waiting for her dad, and her overall development with connection as a whole? The movie is an oddity in that it's a very cliched film. Girl and boy don't get along but eventually start to, girl and boy begin to fall in love, a big twist is revealed that makes the relationship difficult, clubhouse is being threatened by big bad establishment and kids have to prove that they can take care of the clubhouse and aren't just kids. It's all been done before. But the odd part about it is how natural the cliches are. Much of the cliches are remedied by other elements of the film. Umi and Shun's initial relationship is done in a kind and non-patronizing fashion, treated like a real developing friendship with its ups and downs. The twist is likewise treated as an issue first and the drama second, handling how it affects the friendship between the two like a serious conversation point. The hangout cleanup segments are gelled in the likable atmosphere of these kids coming together to make their haven better rather than just sticking it to the man. It's all done rather maturely and respectful to the audience's attention. I also find myself liking Umi as a character even more and more every time I watch the film. She has a very modest but memorable design, and is written in a cliché fashion that benefits from her relationships around this community. The scene that sticks with me is when she still raises the flags despite having her world turned upside down. I first watched this movie with a friend, and when I said that her not raising the flags would be more obvious, my buddy said that her raising the flags was the key symbol that her life is not defined by her relations but by her own merits and strength. And that really stuck out to me as, yeah that does make sense. As the film's not as magical and heck even as whimsical in the storytelling compared to other Ghibli stuff, the reliance on Umi's groundedness with the addition to her growth as a teenager developing romantic feelings could have been done in a very stilted or uncharacteristic way, but they handled her maturity and her sense of losing herself in responsibilities very poignantly. She's slowly becoming one of my favorite Ghibli heroines. But like I said, the film is just okay as the story itself isn't as grand and epic nor heavy in atmosphere and thought as other Ghibli films. But for that, I think it's impressive that this is one of Ghibli's more reserved works, and it deals with its reservations fairly well. The characters are okay and the music is okay. The animation is still superb by animation standards, but not necessarily Ghibli standards. Umi is probably the best thing to come from the movie, except for maybe the interesting developments the film makes with its cliches. Honestly, if I were to inject a bit of my bias, I do find myself liking this movie more than not for what it does with its plotlines and its protagonists, as well as the fact that it's a Ghibli film that feels like it doesn't have to be this big emotional thing to be good, because it is fine on its own. It's a good movie and a good watch that raises many cliché flags and waves them proudly.